Welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's video, we're going to start off a Rust Turn series. Where I'm going to start off as a solo and we're going to live off from one monument. In this video, we're going to see how I go from absolutely nothing to getting myself a pretty nice base with a ton of loot. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. And if it's your first time here, I would appreciate it if you guys subscribe. In the last video, I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and want to claim the prize, please join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. And today, we're going to show another one, which is a glowing skater locks. If you want to win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And channel members also have a higher chance of winning this mythical. We are currently doing an event where if you guys wishlist a game on Steam, you will get a free unturned skin. All you have to do is join the Discord, which will be linked in the description below. Follow the rules, wishlist the game, open a ticket, send your trade link, and you will receive the skin in around a few hours. The skins can be a rare, epic, legendary, premium, or even a mythical, and I hope to see you guys participate in this event. Alright, here we go. Russ turned completely solo. We're going to go for a completely alone run today on Russ turned and we're going to do ourselves a challenge. We're going to live off from one monument. Now, I don't really know which monument I should actually live off from. I was thinking probably Missile Silo because over there you can get a variety of loot and not a lot of people. Actually, some people do go there. So I was thinking of doing something like that. Since we're gonna get PvP, we're gonna be living close to other areas as well for later perhaps but yeah that's the plan i'm just gonna live off from one monument there's a recycler over there and there's a few elite crates at the bottom so i think that would be uh i think that would be a good idea if you guys want to see more where i live off from other monuments let me know i think it'll be a a really fun series that i can do as well and the challenge is it's going to be i'm going to be completely alone as well i'm not going to have any help none of that so let's hope we get ourselves a, a good run but they, yeah basically this is the missile silo there are a bunch of barrels outside let's just get ourselves as much stuff as possible so that we can recycle so that after that we'll go build the base and we need to have ourselves some metal for code locks and for doors and all of that so yeah that's what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna hit as much barrels as possible try to get ourselves elite crates from the bottom Recycle everything if we get ourselves a gun that would be really good as well. Let's get ourselves all of this scrap. There's some rope over here as well. Let's see what this toolbox has. We have ourselves a vest. We'll take that. Some pipes. So obviously today my goal is, well, I'm going to try to get myself tier 3. I was going to say that I'm going to try to get myself also red key card, but since we're going to be living off from this one monument, it really doesn't matter. And also I was thinking of doing some raids, building myself a, a pretty nice base. Looks like someone already looted down here, so elite crates probably are already looted. Well, we'll give it a look just in case. Kind of hope that they're not down here anyway, because I have no guns. Yeah, it's completely looted. Yeah, there's nothing. There's a military crate, a locker. All right, we'll take that. Toolbox, a shirt. All right, yeah, well, we'll go recycle, no problem. And we will start building the base very, very soon. Alright, so we should have recycled everything. Yeah, I got myself enough scrap and high quality to just start off. Basically, I just need the metal for a few crates. You know, nothing nothing that crazy. I don't really need a, a large amount for now. Maybe I'll make myself a pickaxe as well and an axe. Now I do have myself some kits. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you do know that I have myself some kits because the owner uh, gave me a few. So huge shout out to them. But I will not be using them right now. I will only use them if I really need. Like, let's say I am getting pushed by a... A large group and I need a gun and I could easily kill them then that is when I will use it so my first my next step is I am going to farm wood farm stone and we'll start working on base I'm gonna build it very close to here obviously so if I hear shots I could easily try to counter and we'll start off with this run well and hopefully we will survive from one monument I really hope so Uh, I saw a guy running in. Oh, yeah. There we go. He's headshot twice. What? Wait, the other guy's not dead? Okay. Well, he doesn't have anything, thankfully. There we go. Now he's dead. Oh, he had some stuff. He had springs. That's good for AKs. And the first dude had uh, nothing that good. He had hazmat, though. I'll take the hazmat. I do need hazmats. Even though not really, actually, since we're living only here. Don't really need it. But, hey, we'll take it. Why not? 
Alright, so let's recycle everything and uh, yeah, we're home. Got myself my first two kills. So I got myself uh I got myself like base down as well, so that's uh that's pretty nice to have too. So, I will say recycle that, make sure we don't have anything else. But yeah, I was basically farming a little bit. And we got ourselves a tactical flashlight on our Python, insane. Oh yeah, we are back. So it's actually not even fully upgraded right now, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So let me just make everything into stone. Let's upgrade these twig first. Don't even have a door right now. So anyone could just walk straight in. But I do have metal. I think it's in my vault. Yeah, let's take the metal out. Let's make ourselves a door and a code lock. So let's put this over there. Get our code lock, put that there. And let's just make up a code lock. There we go. All right, lovely. Base is done. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video all right so over here I'm going to do myself a an airlock I think that would be pretty nice to have just in case we're getting uh, door camped and they managed to kill us with the door open they wouldn't just oh there's shots going on okay well um, we're going to go do that literally right now then we're gonna try to go kill him Let's put everything in the locker let's get all of the loot over on the floor we don't have any loot now that I'm thinking about it we barely have anything. We do have, like, some materials in the TC. But other than that, we don't have anything. Let's just put this door over there for now. Let's get ourselves some metal for the code lock. Oh, I got a bug. Wait, what? Uh, I, um, I got a glitch. Okay. Well, that's great. I think I need to restart my game then, or, like, re rejoin the server. Trying to kill ourselves. Nope, it doesn't work. Alright, well. Wait, what? An airdrop just landed here. Oh, there's a guy coming. I'll just take everything quickly. Oh, we got an AK! Oh, well, that, that's actually really good. All right, well, there was a naked. All right, what I'm going to do... Yeah, well, I got all of the loot. I'm not gonna bother with... I don't know what he's trying to do. Is he trying to go... He's gonna see if there's anything in the airdrop, probably. Poor guy doesn't realize I yoinked everything. I'm gonna home and I'm gonna depot. We're gonna come back and we're gonna kill him. That's that's basically the plan. We'll put all of the guns in here, all of the stuff that we got. I'm really happy we got that AK, to be honest. I'm still gonna roam around with Python. I'm not gonna use AK yet. If I lose a Python, I wouldn't really be upset. But if I lose the AK, the only AK, I would be very upset. So I don't really want to do that. Bro, an airdrop landed right there. That, I'm actually so lucky. <laughs> that was so lucky. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Oh, of course he TP'd his teammate in, man. He's an LR. Alright, we're going with the big boy gun. Bro, of course he had an LR. Of course he TP'd to, me, to him in the last second. There is no way. I'm gonna go kill them. I'm gonna give it my best. If I manage to kill them, get myself an LR. That would actually be really good. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, hope, yeah they're clueless about me. I don't think they realize that I live very close, you know? Alright, first guy dead. Yeah, he's right here. Dead. There we go. Yeah, that's what you get for TPing at the very last second, bro. Yeah, I got everything. GG. Alright, let's go, Depot. They had a horse as well. Alright, let's check out the elite crates. Alright, well, a few more guns. Nothing crazy, though. Let's bandage up. On the server, you bleed if you jump off. So we got ourselves a bunch of other guns. We got... Yeah, we got another AK as well. I'm really happy with that. Some some armor plate armor as well. So that's uh, it's really nice to have. Where's the other elite crate, though? I don't know. I... Here's someone punching, so I'm just gonna home. Don't wanna die. Even though it's probably just a naked, but I'm not gonna risk it, you know? I swear to god I- Oh yeah, there's someone in the- I knew it. There we go, he's dead. Oh my god, he's geared. He has custom so much components. Alright, well, he had a satchel as well. Alright, we're gonna recycle all of this, bro. This is gonna be insane. We're gonna get so much components from this, so much materials, man. This is the, the, I knew there was somebody in here, but for a second I didn't see him, or I think he's doing what I'm doing right now. 
I'm gonna make sure nobody tries to counter me or if the guy comes back or whatever. Let everything recycle and we will home and we will depot. And you look at all of that metal, all of that scrap. Let's put all of these in there too. Or another guy dead. So I did depot everything on myself MP5. Yep, we got ourselves a bunch of stuff again. Let's see if maybe that guy had anything in recycler. Nah, there's just these nails still. Got explosives too from this guy. Let's recycle everything. So this is basically what I'm going doing since we're only living from this one monument. It's coming here, killing if there's anyone, recycling, checking out the elite crates and home depot. And basically doing it all over again. It's kind of the only thing you can do with this one monument. I think in future videos if we do other monuments, for example like larger monuments like the oil rig for example. Uh, I think it would be much more fun because there's like the red room and it's you know a much cooler spot as well. But you know this military base, a small base is quite small so it's only so little you can do. So I did call in my two airdrops. Uh, let's see what we get. We did go a bit as further away as I possibly could. Still very close to our base though. You know, we got ourselves a bunch of guns. Alright, let's home and let's depot. Got ourselves a minigun. I didn't even know these things existed on the server. What? Oh, that's actually insane. We got miniguns now. Bro, that is incredible. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to upgrade base, make it into two floors. So we can do uh, a furnace room. A large furnace room. That's really what I want to do, to be completely honest. And I do have myself a plan to doing it. Actually, I think it's gonna look really cool. So... A 2 by one of this part of the base, I will actually make it into, uh, like, it'll be two stories high, with no roof in between, and that's where we'll put the large furnaces, and the rest it'll be, like, just a normal 2 by one with a staircase going up, and over there we'll put, like, storage. I did manage to make myself a large furnace as well, but basically we'll do it like this, and then we can place ourselves a large furnace, for example, like, between this area. It's actually upgraded to stone, so that if someone runs by they couldn't really break it already yeah i still probably need to put like yeah i won't be able to reach up there probably and i don't have enough stone so i need to go farm stone and yeah and we'll place the large furnace over here i think it's gonna be uh pretty cool actually yeah i can't do the the wood for now but i need to go farm more stone let's just make it into wooden for now Even though it's kind of a waste but whatever yeah let's go farm then we're gonna go farm Alright, there's a guy here. I think he's just there naked though. Oh, he had some materials. We'll take that. Alright, lovely. Okay, not bad. Alright, so now basically the base, yeah, we just the it's technically now two floors. Which looks really good actually. Um, later on I'm also going to make myself the storage room at the very top, but all of this wood that I got in there as well. So something else that they added in the server is that you can actually organize your inventory in your crates with like rarity and all of that. Which looks really really cool. Let's, let's take all of the nodes that we have and we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go cook them. Alright, so I have a little plan. I guess this is gonna look quite cool. If only we can put a roof on top of like these small walls. Like in real rust, we would be able to do like the storage right up there. But yeah, this was kind of the plan that I have. I'll probably just remove those half walls and just do a normal wall. But for now, it looks really, really cool. And we'll do like the furnace room over here. Let's actually put them to cook. And at the top, we'll do like the loot room. Obviously, I want to make this into a full HQM base. Right now, it's just wood. But when we get enough HQM, all of this will be an HQM base. 1000%. Alright boys, that's going to be the end of episode 1. On episode 2, stuff will start to get much more intense. This is going to be a pretty nice series, so I hope that you guys are excited for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!